Hello, I'm Wendy. Today I'm revisiting painting cornflowers in watercolour. We have a lovely picture of them here from Pixabay. I did have some photographs of my own, but um, I thought this was a really pretty one to have a look at. The demonstration video that I did um, was initially painted for a YouTube short video of um, about a minute. But once I'd made that, I thought some people might be interested in actually seeing the longer version, which I'm putting out on here with some narration. I had to paint this um, vertical format um, for, the, um, for the short, so um, that accounts for the rather untidy background, um, if you like, on this video, so I apologise for that. You're seeing this painted in real time while the um, YouTube short, I think that must have been about eight times real time. I did this painting very loosely and very quickly, but I I did do a fair amount of groundwork in um, looking at the structure of the flower and also I like to actually draft out a pencil drawing before I start. Um, if you are painting loosely I think it does help to have that pencil drawing to guide you otherwise you can really go off track I think sometimes. I'm using Saunders Waterford paper, £140. The colours I'm using, well for the flowers I'm using some cobalt blue and some ultramarine and for the greens, sap green, some yellow and some cobalt blue. So a very limited palette. I did see quite a bit of red in, um, in the cornflowers and you'll see that in places I've put in a little bit of cadmium red. I'm varying the tones. I, was, I did one or two of these and thought they were looking a little bit too flat. I felt the tone was too similar in the flowers so I made a concerted effort in these to vary the tones of the flowers so we've got some lighter blues and some darker blues. Mostly the painting is done wet into wet but um, certain places um, it's going on um, wet onto dry particularly where I wanted the darks. I always enjoy doing a little bit of splatter and a few loose strokes at the end just to add a, try and add a little bit of life and a bit of movement in there. I enjoy painting groups of flowers like this, particularly wildflowers, so um, there will be some more coming up. If you did enjoy that, then do subscribe to my channel and visit my Facebook group. All the links are in the description box below the video. Bye for now and happy painting.